kid. No parents, no home. Running messages and picking pockets to keep my ribs from meeting my spine. One night I saw a man. Folks just passed him by like he wasn't there. I thought he must have something valuable, so I snuck up on him and made a grab. That's not for you. Please, sir, I'm hungry. Don't tell the hammers, I promise. What is your name, boy? Garrett. You have talent, lad. Let go of me, old man! To see a keeper is not an easy thing. Especially one who does not wish to be seen. We have a need for those as gifted as yourself. If you've grown tired of how you live, then follow me, and we will show you a different way. Leave me alone! As you wish. I caught up with him just before he vanished into the crowd. It was the beginning of a very long education. Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will... will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. The indicator on your screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. Well done. I did not see you approach. Open this door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up, indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors and other objects, use them. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Listen to your own footsteps to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned. You must get to the top of the platform without being heard. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. Beyond this door is a hallway that will lead you to your next task. Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword, and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Ready your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back, or your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. See if you can hit one of these targets. Good shot. Keep practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training dummy and ready your sword. Swing at the target with the attack button. A quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, and to the right of the target for a right slash. Hold the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. Good job, you're ready for a live opponent. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. Take that! 
Fall over! Well done. Keep sparring if you wish. When you're done, leave the sparring area. That's enough sparring for today. Please walk over to the table. Would you care for some refreshment before we move on, young Garrett? Please pick up all of the items on this table. Cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Once an object is displayed, you may use it. Have something to eat if you wish, then you may proceed. The next test is waiting on the other side of the metal door. The door is locked, but the key from the table will open it. To unlock the door, select the key in your inventory. Center the door on screen until it lights up. Then use the key on the door. Good. Now head down this hallway to get to your next test. Now you will learn new movement skills. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Now climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the gap to the other side of the stream. Good jump. This obstacle is easy to climb if you know how. First, move close to the wall. Next, jump to grab the edge of the wall and pull yourself up. Good job. The keepers I'm most were pleased with your progress. Them, you have passed the I last test other for today. For if you wish, skills. you may stay to practice your climbing and jumping, or swimming, ducking, leaning, or crawling. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in, around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter, silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. the bear pits tomorrow. You wanna to come with? <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough. What? 
Huge soft belly. The bears have got these new muzzles with underslung cheek spikes. Last time I was there, there was a real eye gouging. <laughs> nah, nah. It makes me sick. When I was a kid... Huh. Surprise you're even in this job. Ooh, the blood it just turned my poor tummy. Shut up, you taffa. You want blood? You should have been there years ago. Tell you. The bears then. They were something to see. Those bears, they didn't need no cheek spikes and razor collars and paw hooks and all that knifery you stripes to them now. No paw hooks? What'd they do? Just bump into each other? Huh! Nah! The bears back then, they had claws as long as your finger and wicked teeth. Bears? You're duffing me. They look pretty mangy harmless, long as they're not wearing harness. That's why I can't stand the pits now. You don't know what you missed. They just don't make bears like they used to. Whoa! Killer bears! Would have liked to see that. <laughs> the few too many to try to get by here. How's it going? Only one guard. Still, it'd be nice to get the drop on him. Hey there, friend. What's with the crazy getup? <laughs> <laughs> Could you possibly be any more helpful? Inside at last. I've been thinking. The sir could really beef up security. Dumb. What do you mean? What's wrong with us? Well, we're fine. But I've been thinking we should watch the outsides. That's stupid. People to worry about there on the inside. No, then you catch them before they get inside, you taffer. Oh!
since I'm in here, I might as well pick up something for myself. You can nearly walk across up at Shale Bridge. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't Newmarket love that?
he reads them or if it's just for show. yourself oh well Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So hopefully they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines, and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted, 
I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the Hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job.
novices, striving to learn our teachings. There are novices still. But fewer, brother, fewer. Youths in this time seek to learn about gold and politics, not honest craft. It will be their loss when they come of age and know not how to accomplish aught of consequence. <clears throat> Who goes there? <clears throat> Who said that? Stand forth and speak thyself if thou be there. Thou shalt regret! Hast someone come? Vigilance is our shield. T'was just the wind then.
Show thyself at once. I hear something. Hmm. There's nothing there now. I know not what it was. In truth, I have never heard such carrying on as this thief's pawn, Cutty. One would think these scum had never faced tribulation in their lives. For a time, I thought Block 4 might never sleep again for his coughs. But he quiets now. Good. Death or Doran's twill be the same for him in the end. Come closer. And thou shalt feel my ill. In truth, I have never heard such carrying on as this thief's pawn, Cutty. One would think these scum had never faced tribulation in their lives. For a time, I thought Block 4 might never sleep again for his coughs. But he quiets now. Good. Death or Doran's twill be the same for you. Don't you make that noise? Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we draw our hands. Thou shalt regret having troubled me. And the builder said, if the foundation is weak, you wail and gnash your teeth. You ask it to repour itself. Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. So ah, where camest thou? Unto me. Oh, nothing again. Needs must I calm my nerves. Hmm. I would not have thought that rats would dare their teeth against the builder's house. All is at rest now. It was nothing. Do my oh, mind show me the right? And the builder said, if the foundation is weak, do you wail and gnash your teeth? Do you ask it to repour itself? Nay, you tear it down and begin anew. So shall it be with all my children, whether they be stone or flesh. Afraid you're gonna be disappointed? 
Good thing you're dying, Cuddy, or I'd have to kill you for stiffing me again. <laughs> snap, snap, puppy. <coughs> but I owe you, <ya>, so... <coughs> Felix went after the Horn of Quintus, down at Bonehorde. Left me his notes. The hammers got him. Put him in there. Evidence box. Loot collection, more like. Upstairs. <coughs> Officer's quarters. Once you're up there, in passage, if damp hadn't rotted my lungs. protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge is our weapon with which we carve a path to an enlightened future. They spend all those tithes. Hmm. I thought I spied something. It seems nothing now. Cheminovs, not our smiths. How durst he? Had he no shame? He certainly hadst fill of shame when his blade did snap at supper. Ha! The Cheminov are shoddy craftsmen, and Tarius has well learnt of it.
I was pissed at Cuddy for a good while after the prison debacle. But hey, you can't blame him for what the Hammers did to him. So I decided to go after that horn Felix talked about. Not like I had a whole lot of choice, really. The rent is due. My landlord's even tougher than the Hammers. The map's pretty specific about where the entrance is. Too bad it's not as clear about where the horn is. Felix did some scrounging before he left, and his notes say the horn is in the tomb of some nobles. The Quintus family. Guess I'll just have to explore. Felix, always helpful, also said that the catacombs are supposed to be haunted. I think I'll go make some inquiries about where a heretic like me can get some holy water. Always go prepared. down.
tombs with piped in music. How classy.
Felix, you don't look so good.
thing I'm not afraid of heights. some money to spare after disposing of the horn, so it seemed time to invest in some new tools. Farkas is one of the few merchants willing to risk selling to an independent like me and his prices are steep, but the other choice is to let one of the so-called city wardens give me orders and take a cut of my profits. They've been after me for years to join one of their stables, but I'm not interested. Maybe they'll get the idea and give up. More likely, they'll just ramp up the threats. Nothing I can't handle if I'm careful. And lucky. And my luck seems to have finally turned for the better. Shot was meant for me. Yes, I'm sure it was killed in the window. He's dead. Let's head back now. These creeps are gonna lead me right back to whoever said they kill me. But only if I can tail them without them noticing me. shot was meant for me. Yes, I'm sure it was Garrett in the window. He's dead. Let's head back now. These creeps are gonna lead me right back to whoever sent them to kill me, but only if I can tail them without them noticing me.
us. Here someone. Nothing now. Saps they grab. You know, toss them into a well or something. Anyhow, they just don't have enough guys no more. Kind of sad. Used to be the power. Now yeah, they're just a bunch of guys wishing for the old days. <coughs>
Hmm. Would have sworn I saw something. Should have known. Nothing could get in here. It may be. I was going to pay Lord Randall and his vase collection a visit, but the Downwind Thieves Guild beat me to the score. Word is that they haven't divvied the booty yet. Apparently their leaders, Donnell and Reuben, are arguing over the prized Sapphire vase. Sounds like they could use a third party to settle their disagreement. Since I'm no mediator, I'll just steal the vase from them. They'll be so busy blaming each other, no one will suspect an outsider. The Downwinders run a gambling den called the Overlord's Fancy, which operates under a nearby restaurant. The guild's hideout is beneath the casino. I have a rough map of the complex I got from sources from the inside. Once I'm in the Overlord's Fancy, I'll have to search for the secret entrance to the hideout. I have to be careful. The Downwinders know me all too well. If they catch sight of me, they'll know who took the vase. Assuming they don't just kill me for trespassing. Finding the vase may prove difficult since I have no idea where it is. Should be a hot topic of conversation among the downwinders. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to overhear where they're stashing it. Time to make a living.
Password? Reeves, balls, Sutter. It's me. Security is necessary to prevent exposure and dilution of talent. Do you want to argue with the Lords? Now what's the password? Hand of shadow, foot of air. Open the door, okay? Well, now he hasn't given me the password. Are you taffing me? Security is necessary to pre- And I'm standing here listening to Dano tell you the password. You think he's gonna let me if I'm not in the guild? Or you think I'm lackwood enough not to remember it? Shudder. I'll put up with your airs of ways, but if you start putting it like I'm that much of a fool, there will be blood. Now open this door! <laughs> Look at What's that! What's going on over there? Well, it was nothing like that. I thought I saw... <laughs> They're so busy gambling their money away, they won't notice if I take a bit. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> you think I'd be used to rap noises by now? Sit right here. 
right there, Garrett. Saw something. <laughs> Garrett, you're crazy for coming down here. <laughs> huh? Hey, sit right there. Yeah, Taffa, just deal me another hand. Of course. <sighs> At this rate, I'll win all your tips for the night. May the trickster find you in the dark. Hmm? Didn't quite catch that. I said, hit me. Was nothing. I'm getting too jumpy. Hey, so, what wrong. was that? There. Just you know poke your there. head out! I'll end it for you, quick like! <laughs> no, it was nothing. I'm getting yes. too jumpy. fight over the vase, they stay out of my way. Yeah, but while they're squabbling, they ain't fencing the vase, neither. That vase is just gonna stay locked up in Lord Donald's lair. Yeah, but it's not like it's doing Donald any good, since Lord Reuben has the key to the lockup. Ain't doing me no good, neither. That sapphire vase is worth more than the rest of the score from Randall's combined. I didn't become a downwinder to work for free. I want my cut. What do I see there?
Okay, so. Hmm. It's quiet now. Garrett. Ah. Huh. Damn rats around. Curious when he got back from his trip and found out his precious scepter had been swiped. We didn't pull that job, did we? You taffer, if we pulled a job on one of Ramirez's people, it would be war. Well, who then? Probably Garrett. He's the only one sly and foolish enough to pull a job like that. <coughs> <clears throat> I got you now, Taffer! What was that? You! <laughs> oh, please. You'll have to do better than that. <laughs> Can't you hit any harder? <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Can't you hit any harder? God! You'll have to do better than that. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Can't you hit any harder? Guards! Over here! Is that you, Kevil? Stop! I surrender!
Randalls would have smelled better. Money. Harmless. Leave. <clears throat> quickly.
Did I just see what I think I saw? I heard that. Stay right there, Garrett. Ugh. What's going on? I'll find you, eventually. I thought I saw something. Well, it was nothing, I guess. What the? Ah! Ah! You're a ah! rats around here. Mm. Hey! Get my vase.
hell are you doing here? you now. 
now, Tapper. Donald on the south side and Reuben on the north. If something goes down, we'll be caught in the middle of it. Those two don't quit squabbling and settle this. Reuben's gonna send out his boys to find out where Donald's safe is. And Donald will be out looking for Reuben's key. And you know the knuckle breakers ain't too picky about whose knuckles they break. <sighs> I should never have gone Union. Down the intruders, though. Who'd break in here? The only action we get is when somebody tries to skim off the top. Well, this vase situation might give you all the action you need. Hey, that's right. Be nice to bust some heads for a change. <laughs> night. Heard he came in pretty late. Did he get something good? <laughs> Don't he wish. He's up in this lady's bedroom, all quiet light. When he hears feet outside. He got caught? <laughs> Nothing so tame. He can scarp out the way he came quick enough, but he don't want to go till he's got something. So he sweeps everything on the dresser, jewelry, candlesticks, whatnot, into his sack, gets halfway down the stairs, when the sack starts leaping about. What? He's got the lady's cat, too. Cat claws a hole in the sack, 
everything falls out except the cat. And that's halfway up his arm with claws every which way. <laughs> he had to jump in the river to get the damn thing off. Left a trail of blood and water over half the city just going home. <clears throat> What's hey. going on? Did I just see what I think I saw? It's quiet now. Something's wrong. Garrett! Guards! It's Garrett! Get him!
You! I was contacted by a woman named Victoria. She claims to represent a client who was impressed by the way I took care of Ramirez and now wants me to steal something for him. The target is a magical sword owned by a nobleman and collector named Constantine. Little is known about Constantine except that he is an eccentric new face in the city and mostly keeps to himself. Victoria says the sword will probably be on display, but it will be well protected by guards and security systems. She also mentioned that the guards are tough and organized, and the mansion is confusing to navigate in. The house was constructed recently, so I've had to piece together my own map from observation and hearsay. Sounds like the place is a bit of a maze. I guess if you're rich enough, you can build any sort of madhouse to live in. This is going to be a challenging job, but it'll pay better than the last few I've taken. As usual, the front entrance is heavily guarded, but I've managed to find another way in. Of course, once I've picked up the sword, I'll still have to worry about getting back out.
go down. <clears throat> Thought I saw something. noise now. That noise. Don't see anything now. Who goes there? Who made that noise? Hello? Intruder! Help!
and about then. Nothing to be seen now. Stop! Don't move! Boss was dangerous today. 
I thought he'd a good mood. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Good moods. That's the worst. Take my new sword and get out of this crazy place. No, no, you don't move. Garrett, it's Victoria. I trust you made it back alive. You've done well, Garrett. Come with me and bring the sword. There is someone you have to meet. It's time for the payment you've been promised. Yes. A refreshment, Mr. Garrett. I'm in the possession of a superior brandy that has the most restorative effect. I prefer my payment in cash, not liquor, Mr... My apologies. I've been watching you, Mr. Garrett, so closely in fact that I'm afraid I'd forgotten we haven't actually met yet. I am Constantine. All this time I thought you were gonna pay me. You've brought me here to kill me? But you have it all wrong, Mr. Garrett. Would it surprise you to know that it was I who hired you to steal my own sword? Yes. You see, Victoria and I are... Old associates. Yes. You were being tested, do you understand? And I must say, you more than live up to your reputation. You are quite an extraordinary thief. Testing me? What is it you want from me, Constantine? I am a collector, Mr. Garrett. But there are some items that are not available for purchase. They must be acquired using other means. In this case, the item in question would be best acquired by thieving. Not simple thieving, no. I need an artist like yourself. What exactly is this item? It is the gemstone called the eye for its unusual appearance. Yes. Kept hidden in the sealed cathedral deep inside the halls of the scum Hammerites. Oh, but forgive me. You are, possibly, friendly with the Order of the Hammer. No. Fanatics make unreliable friends. Excellent. I am prepared to offer you quite a sum. A hundred thousand upon receipt of the eye. I don't see how I can refuse such an offer. Marvelous. Victoria can fill you in on all the particulars. And Mr. Garrett... The sword, keep it. You have earned it, but also, I believe you'll find it useful in your quest.
The eye that Constantine wants is in the abandoned cathedral of the Hammerites. The cathedral is located in a section of the city that was deserted years ago, after some kind of catastrophe. I've heard stories of the incident, but most are wild rumors about hordes of zombies and raging fires. Now that part of the city is walled off, and no one's allowed to go in. Not that many people would dare to in the first place. Maps of the area are easy to find in attics and old trunks, but like all of them, the one I've got is over 50 years old. I'll make my way through the ruins to the Hammerite Cathedral, and find a way inside. Once I get inside the cathedral, I'll have to locate the eye. Something tells me that this is not going to be easy, but for the amount I'm getting paid, I'm willing to take some serious risks.
Looks like this place was built by my old pals, the Keepers. I wonder what they're hiding in here.
talisman of Earth is guarded by a foreign mages sect known as the Hand Brotherhood. They reside in a compound of huge towers where they practice their arts of earth, air, fire, and water. The talisman is likely kept in the Earth Tower, but there's little chance it'll be that simple. No doubt the talisman is heavily guarded and probably protected by magic. But mages love to write everything down. I should stumble on something useful about their precious trinket. I bribed some servants to get me a map of the common grounds, the best I could do since only the mages are allowed in the towers. I'll enter the courtyard just outside the central keep entrance. Once inside, I'll need to move quickly to find the talisman. I wouldn't last long in a fight against the mages. have been breached. there. Hey! Ooh, I think a baby bird picked me! You'll have to do better than that, Taffer! Didn't even scratch! Ooh, I think a... Is this a vision? What trouble is this? To hide in the shadows is to reveal your fear, intruder. Be still. Be still. Knows what it was. <clears throat> I don't. Oh, you, you killed. Him.
this is where the mages hide their dirty little secrets. Is this a vision? Who troubles this place? The walls have been bre- So this is where the mages hide their dirty little secrets. A mystery. It would be wise to sur- So this is where the mages hide their dirty little secrets. crack a smile. Servants ain't allowed there. These wizards trust anyone? I found it best not to ask questions. The gold they give me answers all the questions I have. <coughs> hey! Who's that there? Come on, stop hey, it once I've and got put your hands up here! But why are the handmaid just the only ones allowed in? Why won't they? 
But why are the handmaids the only ones allowed in? Look, there's a prowler here! Turn to
silence returns. It was nothing. I shall walk the path who troubles this place. Sanctum, if you cannot change my game. in the shadow. You do not belong here. You, you cannot run from your fate. Feel the sting of my anger.
troubles this place. Stand as still as a pond. He strikes as a dying wind. Escape the inevitable. I have, I have, I have found, found an escape. intruder among us. We will send you to the next path. Resistance to hide in the shadows. Return to the eternal. Escape while you can. Darkness take you. There is a disturbance. You cannot run from your fate. Attack will gain you nothing. What vision disturbs me? Stand as still as a pound in the winter.
Of eternity to seek you out. Leave us, Leave us while you can. See death in the darkness. <clears throat> there is a strange presence here.
that cannot be outrun. Darkness shall overtake you. Do you see death in the darkness? Feel the sting of my anger. Change my destiny, thief. All is not still. There is a false presence here. It's true. 
waters lie ahead. Many will not survive. We must try to redirect the current. Try as we, try as we might to retrieve the talismans, the prophecy is an ocean returning to shore. Little we can do to prevent it and prepare for its arrival. Dry and dead is much of the city. The sun will oppose and the conflict will end in flames. It's the way of things. Civilizations will burn into the earth so that it may give life to the next. Winds of progress always head towards the grave. Soon, young apprentice, you shall grasp the truth of it. I shall build shelters from the winds, feel the countless waters, you you cannot change my... It's true, it's true he has returned. We must, we must be ready. Rough waters lie ahead. Many will not survive. We must try to redirect the current. Try as we, try as we might to retrieve the talismans. The prophecy is an ocean returning to shore. Little we can do to prevent it. Dry and dead. Is he strikes as a dying wind. I am unharmed, fool!
noise. Come on, when I find you. You'll. Re There's an intruder here. I hear you there. Ah! All right, where Don't let are me you? Come find you. Intruder! <laughs> ha! Oh, ah! All right, where on, are man. you? This looks like the way out. That'll come in use. Keepers have hidden the talisman of fire in a place they call the Lost City. Some kind of cataclysm buried the place underground ages ago. The Keepers have sealed the access to the city, a cleft in the river bottom near the east side. If the materials in the library are right, the strange stone I found can be used to open that seal. I've also got a map. It's so old the edges crumble in my hands. It shows the city, or at least how it was back then. I hope the old place hasn't changed much.
How can the keepers keep this place a secret? So, this is the lost city. It's not lost no more.
The keepers stashed the talisman of water in a series of hidden caverns located deep below the city. According to their map, I'll find it in a shrine located in the lowest cavern. I don't expect to run into anything too threatening other than a few venomous spiders. However, the map does contain this note. Stand not against us, lest you feel the sting of ignorance's barbs. <laughs> Sounds like keeper talk for, we've rigged the place. An informant of mine, Geary, made a home for himself in these caverns after he lost his job tending the ticket counter of a nearby opera house. He should know these caverns better than anyone, so I'll pay him a visit to see if he has any useful information for me. I'm not getting any information from Geary after all. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> 
Spy you little fish. Oh no, it's a big fish, rather. Are you here to sing too? We'll reenact the memorable scene between Raoul and Valerius at the bridge. I'll begin. The city at night. Raoul, the handsome young opera house owner, sings to the lady Valerius. I, Raoul, do accuse you of using treachery to obtain your wealth. Uh, then Lady Valeria sings. I, Lady Valerius, have obtained the opera house, yes. Right from under your nose, you must kiss the ground underneath my toes. Now, I live here under the opera, but I go back, stealing food and such as I need. She can't kick me out, not Raoul. <laughs> then they come down, looking for spiders, but they found the treasure from the shrine instead. Now, she has that, too. I've seen her with it. It has powers. You... you could steal it from her, yes. That would make her sad. Let's see. What would she sing? Ah, I know. Lady Valerius, weeping in her chamber, uh, sings... I, Lady Valerius, am so, so sad. Where has the treasure gone that once made me glad? You need a map? Raoul has a map. You need a key? You can get that too from me. Remember, I left at the sewer. To the right might look newer, that's the secret of the way in. Now go, go, go! Up, up the rope you go, why do you move so slow? Let us reenact the memorable scene again between Raoul and the... There he is at the bridge. begin. <coughs> I spy you, little fish. Oh no, it's a big fish, rather. Are you here? Let us reenact the memorable scene again between Raoul and Valerius at the bridge. I'll begin. <laughs> oh, yeah, the curtains went down yeah. this time, a long time ago. He's the best lead I have. This looks like the way in.
it was nothing. La 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 la. Is what was that? You? These halls must speak from the past. the shadow there. Someone there. Don't. That gibberish is a waste of my art. Ironic, since I always considered your art to be a waste. And, to add injury to insult, I'm forced to wear costumes from years past. I can't believe the Opera House is still losing money. It's all these lower class people working in the ticket Who's office that? and such. <sighs> <sighs> so, do you read Crib's latest? That gibberish is a waste of my art. Ironic, since I always considered your art to be a waste. And, to add injury to insult, I'm forced to wear costumes from years past. I can't believe the Opera House is still losing money. It's all these lower class people working in the ticket office and such. They steal whatever they can get their hands on. Valerius should fire all of them. For once, I agree with you, Christine. Scrapping the lower class would certainly clean things up around here. <laughs> but what will you do for food and shelter when they kick you out? <laughs> Taffer. Huh? Who's that? The 
rats around here perform more than we do. Must have been rats. How repulsive. Guard on Lady Valerius is not I stole not the ticket office. Is someone there? See there. <clears throat> Thought I saw something. Sorry, nothing here now. Who was that there? I saw some help! Help! Right, There's someone in ready. here! Guards! Back up! Someone there? He's right here! Help! Over here, he has a sword! Thank mm -hmm. you. 
have been rats. How repulsive. <coughs> huh? really pay money to see this stuff?
I guess it was nothing. <coughs> Someone it's behind me? This latest opera from Valerius and Cribs is a testament to the superiority of human intellect. Man overcomes nature. Oh, my absolute favorite theme. I couldn't disagree with you more. This opera is more of a travesty than a testament. The only thing overcome were my poor ears by that horrendous music Cribs has written. <laughs> You're just miffed because Cribs is fond of tragic endings. That's not it at all. Since Valerius took over, we've had to endure this Mr. Cribs and his twisted little operettas with vines and lycas as villains and other complete nonsense. How can you stand it? Hmm. Well, I say, in with the new. That's what I say. <coughs>
I heard something. Don't worry. Oh, God, an intruder! Who's that? Getting the talisman of air will be an interesting challenge, but I'll need it if I want to get the eye for Constantine. It's well hidden inside the city's hammer temple, so I'll have to do some scouting around. Problem is, the place is fully active, day and night. Not even I could stay undetected for very long. Well, they say that the best place to hide a letter is on the mantelpiece. With that in mind, I'll be going in by the front door dressed as a Hammerite novice. That should be perfect since novices aren't allowed to speak while on the temple grounds. My contacts can get me a novice's pass to get me through the gate. Once inside, I'll be free to take my time, explore the place thoroughly, and find the talisman. As long as I don't do anything violent or get caught somewhere I shouldn't be. Because it's the new arrival, I'll be the first person they'll suspect if anything goes wrong. Credentials, novice.
<laughs> Thou should not be in the barracks, brother. Remember that novices are not permitted. Do not permit novices in the barracks, as thou should well know. Be off. Lend Come thy closer, arm to mine. and thou shalt... Feel my anger. Come closer, and thou shalt feel.
Hast thought upon who is likely to succeed our master? Surely not for many years. Art thou blind? The master forges do jostle each other for precedence. I spy not on my betters, tis in the builder's hands. Tis true, tis true. <coughs> Some do say the Baron means to raise the tariffs again, even on greens and meat.
No wretched man serves only a merchant in his own greed. The grandfather cared less for his pocketed gold and more for his soul's health, but no longer. The builder's truth it is that men without belief do soften and fail as rotten wood. <coughs> What are doing? Hold a minute. <laughs> Thank you. 
Because the sinners we take would have no second chances they would miss. Is 
silence now. <coughs> if thou be there, bespeak thyself.
City Lock. With the talismans, I'll be able to break the wards on the cathedral. It's time for me to retrieve the eye and bring it to Constantine. Last time I was here, the eye was inside, in plain sight on the main altar. I just have to grab it and leave. But that won't necessarily be easy if the place is as haunted as it looked before. So if things get tough, there is another way out. Through the gate and the cloister, behind the cathedral. The sooner this ordeal is over with, the better. When I get paid for this job, I'm gonna retire in style.
you come all this way, only to leave me as I fall in your grasp.
my help, I can be found down in the cloister. These stairs have seen better days. Aha, our newest acolyte. Thou seems to have gotten thyself into some trouble, hmm? And from the looks of thee, I'd say thou art used to trouble. Well, I can help thee escape this desolate place, if thou wilt help me with something, since thou clearly camest here to collect things. Thou can start by collecting some things for me. All brothers have rosary beads, so thou'lt need some too. Thou canst borrow mine. I think I left them in my room. I remember that it was so nice to look out over the fountain in the garden. So be a good lad and bring me my rosary. Thank you. 
wonderful looter thou art. Thou hast found my rosary. I have some other things for thee to do as well. I needs for thou to get a holy symbol. This place is not as holy as it once was, I'm afraid, so thou might have a hard time finding one. Thou canst always make one for thyself in the tenor factory. We do it all the time and praise the builder for his works. Still poking around for a holy symbol? There might not be any to find any longer. Why dost thou not go to the factory and make one for thyself?
I can't tell you how pleased I am with you, Mr. Garrett. I simply can't find the words, but perhaps Victoria can help me in that regard. She has such a way with them. Yes, we are both so very pleased. Victoria? Even though the eye is defective. What? Victoria is quite right, Mr. Garrett. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but this eye is completely blind. It's a rock. It's what you asked for. Am I going to get paid or not? Of course. Victoria, are you prepared to give Mr. Garrett his compensation? Lord, and offer up your flesh eyes so that his eye of stone may see, man fool. Bids he then the spruces to sing her him an anthem, and the woodly lord binders then fleshes to stone. Did you think those ancient phrases were mere words, man fool? Look at me! I am the Woodsy Lord, the trickster of legend. If you be thirsty, flex thing, drink of me. If you be hungry, then feed, for I am the honey maker and the jacksberry. He am the leaf that feeders on the fleshed ones, them that calls themselves builders and wielded up a hammers against him. My poor Mr. Garrett, you will not live to see the sprawling glory of it. Your sacrifice is not yet complete. My lilacs and my thistles must feed and die. Stands he then in the greens and festive maw, and speeds he of his judgments upon the weeps and writhing manfolds. a stone rolling downhill. Now you must aim this remarkable momentum. It is past time for the balance to shift. They come. What? Wait! The trickster will not forgive you for doing what he could not. Nor, I trust, will you forgive us. Keepers. Looks like I better get moving, or whatever those things are, we'll waste a perfectly good rescue. You there! Hold 
you! <laughs> My blood's cause you traitor.
don't see! For the worry!
Father would see!
not the way things were supposed to go. Constantine has the eye, and my eye, and I doubt he has anything wholesome planned for it. The trickster is real after all. I don't think anyone but those crazy hammers really believed in the old gods. Those crazy hammers. You know, it wouldn't hurt to have a few dozen heavily armed fanatics on my side just about now. If I drop by their temple and explain things, maybe they'll be so distracted by the trickster's return that they'll forget to hold a grudge. And even if they don't, I know how to get out of Crag's cleft prison already.
Not is thee, the master thief. There is scant time to explain. The trickster's foul beasts have captured our high priest, and if we cannot retake him alive, all shall be lost. We lack thy skills of stealth and treachery, and our enemies must surely kill him should we make a bold attempt. Take this key and map and go. May the builder guide your snap. This looks like it'd make a good escape route for me and my high priest. This looks like it'd make a good escape route for me and the High Priest. Get the human! 
This looks like it'd make a good escape route for me and the high priest. Hey, let me back to you. This is it. The Hammers say they've received word that Constantine's descended into his realm to perform a ritual with the Eye. The Hammers have built me a booby-trapped counterfeit Eye. If I can swap it for the real thing, it should cause him some trouble. If he doesn't notice me. I've never robbed a god before. It'd be a challenge.
Let's not try that again.
Interesting. Unfurl, thornsy spine, tumble down, leap in my fool, me lives you still. The mind call the green, brings thee forth, world be seen. Storm 
black and blow, swirly gust, rain winds flow, pushing dust, storm clouds grow, doxy clouds, lightning throw, misty shrouds, freezy snow. Call the storm, call the gray, bring ye forth world's old way. Meet melting gears, dance and leap. Man fool's fear come to reap. Call the fire, call the red. Bring thee forth, past not dead. and fall, river flood, rain and squall, churning mud, dam break all, sea waves wash, swampy squall, sewer slosh, drain pipe stall, call the wave, call the blue, bring ye forth world anew. Shake, bring a pile, chip and flake, darky soil, windows break, earthy toil wall and make, call earth, call the brown, bring the back world thrown down. Sight. Stay inside, fear the night, call the dark, call the black, brings it forth, I call it dark. I just saved the world, yourself included. As we knew you would, as it had to be. Now I remember why I left the Keepers. And I remember why we let you go. What do you want from me? 
Have you come to congratulate me? Welcome me back to the fold? Very well. I will speak my piece plainly. You have accomplished that which was written, and yes, you've done it well. But there is no place for you with us any longer. Yet you will have a great need of us, and soon. I don't think so. I'm through with heroics. And with your kind as well. You cannot run from life as you did from us, Garrett. Life has a way of finding you, no matter how artistic a sneak you are. Listen, there is a book that you were not made aware of. I am here to tell you that it would be wise for you to read it now. But you can still read hieroglyphs. I do try to forget, but you keepers leave them everywhere for me. Yes, you have more friends than you know. Tell my friends that I don't need their secret book, or their glyph warnings, or their messengers. Tell them I'm through. Tell them it's over. Tell them Garrett is done. I will tell them this. Nothing has changed. All is as it was written. The trickster is dead. Beware the dawn of the Metal Age.